Module 3, Lesson 12. We will be subtracting mixed numbers. Our problem is 6 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 1 fourth. If you will notice about the fractions is that our denominators are different. So the first thing we'll need to do is find a new denominator. If you remember, you're looking for the least common multiple of 5 and 4. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. The multiples for 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. The least common multiple for 5 and 4 is 20. 20 will be our new denominator. So I'm going to bring over my whole numbers. My new denominator is going to be 20. Now I need to solve for my new numerator. So I'm going to ask myself 4 times what number equals 20? It's 5. Would I, if I multiply my denominator by 5, I have to multiply my numerator by 5. 1 times 5 is 5. I'll ask myself, what did I multiply 5 by to get to 20? It's 4. What I do to the denominator, I do to the numerator. 1 times 4 is 4. Now I have like denominators and can solve my problem. But when I look, I cannot take 5 from 4. So I'm going to have to borrow from my 6. Remember, you can make your 6 into 5 plus 1. But we're going to make the 1 into a fraction because any number over itself is equal to 1. Since our denominator is 20, I'm going to make this 1 into 20 twentieths. So now I have the whole number 5. I have my 20 twentieths that I'm going to have to add to the 4 twentieths which will give me 24 twentieths and my 4 and 5 twentieths stays the same. Now I can perform the subtraction because I can take 5 from 24, which would give me 19. My denominator is 20. And I can subtract 4 from 5, and I will get 1. So for our problem, 6 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 1 fourth, the answer is 1 and 19 twentieths.